Welcome everybody to the Denver Broncos franchise on Madden 20. We've got ourselves a good one today. Merry Christmas everybody and happy holidays. Get ready for today's main event. We have the Denver Broncos and the Baltimore Ravens under the lights in week two. The schedule makers did not want to take it easy on us to begin this year, but the Broncos won their first game against the Chiefs. They did so without Josh Rosen for most of the game, who will return to be the starter today. I'm not trying to have a quarterback controversy, but Taquan Layton was excellent a week ago. Now the Broncos try to regroup for their home opener against the Baltimore Ravens. We're up against a terrific defense today. And of course, Lamar Jackson. And we're going to see him to begin tonight's action as we get underway. Baltimore will start with the football at their own 23-yard line. This is one of the most unique offenses in the NFL. They love to run the football, and you never know what Lamar Jackson's going to do on any given play. The Ravens start in the pistol. Offset backfield, Patrick Ricard is in the game, and they'll hand it to newly signed Dalvin Cook, who is stopped by Christian Baxter for no gain. To the shotgun on second down, and Jackson fires to the outside, complete to Kendrick Bourne, who put a move on Chris Harris, 15 yards. Three different formations in the first three plays. Dalvin Cook hit in the backfield and racked up for a loss. This defense has to be much better than they were against Kansas City where Austin Eckler ran for over 130. Third down now, and Jackson pressured and brought down. It's Calais Campbell who led the team with three sacks in week one. What an immediate impact we're getting from him. Now it's time for Josh Rosen to step in once more. He got injured at the end of the first quarter, hurt his back, but he's good to go, 100% for week two. Starting on the ground, Phillip Lindsay off to a nice start. He went for a touchdown on his first carry in week one. How about 15 yards on this play? It's a different team, we know that, when they can get Phillip Lindsay going, and we expect the pass game to offer a lot more this season off of those runs. After a short pickup, good protection. Rosen floats one and found Noah Fant across the middle. That is a first down of 28 yards. The early impressions of this pass game are so much better than a year ago. Into Raven territory, again protected. Rosen complete, that's Cortland Sutton. Ball at the 24, another first down. Rosen two for two. Two tight ends in the game for Denver. Now a short throw over the middle and Curtis Samuel can't hang on. It was ripped free. Going to the bunch formation on this play. There's pressure as Rosen delivers and Sutton has another catch. It's a first down Denver now just outside of the 10. Again, two tight ends. They'll try to run this one. Working outside is Lindsey leaning ahead to the one yard line. Looks like second and one. Can they punch this one in to start the night? From the one yard line, Freeman brought down for the loss. He lost four yards on that run. That makes things much trickier. Three receivers, third and five. Rosen, back of the end zone and incomplete. Fant unable to make the catch. The coverage was tight. The Broncos, like they did in week one, are able to score first. It is three to nothing as the Ravens begin drive number two. It's Mark Andrews. With this offense, you have to worry about the tight ends a lot more in the passing game than with most offenses these days. On third down, they check it to Dalvin Cook, a great receiving back and playmaker, but a holding penalty is going to wipe that out. Could have been a first and 10, now third and long. Jackson dumps it off ahead of the pressure. Here's Dalvin Cook, he's close, but does not get it, falling a yard shy. Good stop for Denver, and they quickly get the football back. At their own 23, play action, and Rosen brought down Tim Williams. He was too quick around the edge for Mack Hillhouse, and this drive starts going in the wrong direction. 
Long way to go here. Rose in underneath. Here's Samuel. A block is thrown. He'll fight ahead. And he's now a yard shy of the marker. Fourth down. First quarter winding down. Just a 3-0 game so far. And Lamar Jackson fires complete. There is a flag down. This is Marquise Brown. And he has some deep speed. And this play is not going to count. Holding on Orlando Brown. They have really good tackles in Baltimore, but we have Bradley Chubb and Vaughn Miller. Here's a shot on third down as Jackson's pass is knocked away. He wanted Hollywood Brown, couldn't connect. Good start for this defense after some struggles a week ago, and they'll try running again to the outside, but a phenomenal play by Marlon Humphrey. Cortland Sutton is the slot receiver aligned right. Here's second down. Rosen intercepted. Tavon Young the other way. Rosen the only one who can get the angle, and it's a touchdown. Pick six, Baltimore. They try to go with the curl on the outside, and it's just not timed up properly. Rosen's first interception as a Denver Bronco, and the Ravens take the lead as a result. That's a tough one after how this game began. Things were going all right. And now we see how Rosen responds. And so far he's 5 of 8. Getting the ball downfield when he can. Third and 2. Nice pocket. Rosen waits too long and goes down. Looked like he may have been able to go deep down the middle. But is sacked instead by Dean Lowry. Again, the punt team is out. Wadman having some trouble with it as this kick is blocked. And Baltimore will score now with special teams. A pick six and now a blocked punt for a touchdown. Last week it was the Honey Badger Tyron Matthew making plays. Now Earl Thomas. Big block punt. It's 14-3 without Baltimore's offense doing much. Well, this is going to happen. Sometimes the game just unfolds in a very unpredictable way, and you've got to find a way to fight back. Down 11. Rosen will hand this, and this is Marion Peppers, the rookie, getting his first NFL carry. Two yards. Samuel now inside on this second down. Rosen on target, and here goes Fant. Inside the 20, all the way to the 10. Brought down at the 3. Big catch and run for one of the fastest tight ends in the NFL and maybe a star in the making. Set up on goal to go. Sprint pass right. Rosen, touchdown! Cortland Sutton, number one on the season. That's what you hope to see. Just get a solid response. You've got to forget about the mistakes. 14 to 10. And again, we'll see the Ravens offense, and we know Jackson's going to take off from time to time, sometimes by design. Another penalty, though. That's three holding calls against Baltimore in the first half. They'll just give this one to Dalvin Cook, and you've got to keep him from finding the open field. After what Eckler did a week ago, I've been nervous for this game. Dalvin Cook hitting the backfield. What a play, Bradley Chubb. That's how you take teams like this out of their element. They require consistency. But it looks like Jackson just got a defender to jump, so they'll get five back. Third and six with this team, the whole playbook's open. Jackson dumps to Cook. He's brought down for a loss by Chris Harris, and the Bronco defense continues to play well. Denver trails, but the defense is definitely not the reason. 14-10. Here's Samuel on the reception. Nice coverage from Tavon Young. Short gain. Three wide again for Rush. Rosen, plenty of time. Stepping up now. Wants to take off and is hit down. Great play by Jalen Ferguson. He got the hit just in time. I thought Rosen was going to get it. We've seen some pretty good defense so far. Two and a half to go in the second quarter. Here's Marquise Brown. He just broke the ankles of Justin Simmons who went flying to the Ravens sideline. Hollywood gets 23. Two minutes left to go. Ravens keep it in the air. Here goes Jackson, but he runs into Von Miller. He's wrapped up. We've got to be ready for when Jackson takes off. That was a great play. Long way to go here. They're going to keep it in the hands of Jackson on third and 17, and he almost picked it up, getting 16 yards on the carry. 
That was close. The defense has been great in the first half. Now can the offense maybe retake the lead? Here's a short throw. Cortland Sutton, who had the touchdown, makes the catch. Gain of four. Rosen's numbers looking pretty solid thus far as the blitz arrives, and he floats it for Lindsey. He'll take it to the sideline with a gain of eight. Rosen, 12 of 15 on the day. Not bad. Second and three. Here's a tough catch made. It's Cortland Sutton in Raven territory. Well done. Good to see Sutton getting involved making big plays. We're down to 40 seconds. Protection is good. Flag down. Going deep now. And through the hands of Earl Thomas. This is going to be a hold against Denver on Norman Proctor, who had a penalty back in week one. The offense backs up now on a quick flip. Deion Price, watch out! Down the sideline! What a play! We've got to find ways to just get him the ball. He is explosive. This drive has a chance now. 28 seconds, Rosen steps up. He's hit again, and this will be a short loss. Again, Ferguson was the first there. Denver out of timeouts. How aggressive do you get? 22 seconds. They'll take a shot here again. Flag down as they tried to get to Deshaun Hamilton. It is pass interference in the end zone on Tavon Young. You've just got to be careful now without any timeouts. Goal to go, Rosen. He's blitzed and throws for the touchdown! Curtis Samuel! His first as a Denver Bronco. I love the early impact from Samuel in week one. Nice to see him make a play down here in the red zone. And despite their issues, the Broncos have taken the lead here with 10 seconds to go in the half. It's Dalvin Cook. Good run on first and 10. And the Ravens now will see what they can do with their remaining four seconds. Jackson on first down. Everyone going long. Here he goes. And Jackson's going to pick up the first and take it into Bronco territory. It's a nice play, but it ends the first half. It's been a fun game so far. I'm happy with how our defense has played. We just have to avoid those issues that are giving the Ravens extra points. They haven't scored yet offensively. This is the first game of the week, so we don't know anything else yet for this week, but our next opponent, the Cleveland Browns, face the Kansas City Chiefs in week two. That'll be one we check on later as the Broncos start the second half, and again, trying to establish Lindsey, who had a 15-yard run on the opening play and has 27 yards total. Now there's some pressure. That ball is coming out, and the Ravens take over again! Wow, now a fumble from Josh Rosen. This bounced off the helmet of a Raven defender. And Tim Williams jumps on it at the three-yard line. Unbelievable. Short field, Baltimore. First and ten. Lamar Jackson to the end zone. Running it in easily. Touchdown, Ravens. That's now two scores with defense and special teams. And now a score from the three-yard line as Baltimore is back in front. And that one was close. Complete, though, Curtis Samuel. Denver's done a pretty good job with their passing game, but when you account for those turnovers, it's taking away a lot of what we're doing well. Third down now for Denver, needing three. Rosen going to air it out for Fant, and this gets knocked away by Tim Williams. Fourth down. Baltimore leads without their offense having any long possessions. Flag on the play as Dalvin Cook runs powerfully and his effort will not count. Second down and 16. Play fake. Jackson from the goal line. Going to send it downfield. What a grab. He caught that. Willie Sneed at the 35-yard line. That was unreal. That creates some room for the offense. They'll try to get this outside, and Chris Harris flies in to make the play on Sneed. Following a false start, it's third and 16, Baltimore. Four receivers deep, and the pressure arrives! Jackson taken down, that's two sacks for Vaughn Miller. Sam Cook to kick this one away. Back deep, Deion Price. 
He'll let it go, a bounce, and now he wants the football. Gathers it in, makes a move. Out to the right, spinning inside. Baltimore finally brings him down at the 17. He is so much fun to watch. 21-17, Denver football, and now some running room for Royce Freeman, who gets just his second carry of the day. Three wide again on first down, now underneath Samuel, and the coverage from Tavon Young has been tight. He hasn't been as impactful this week. On third and one, Lindsey in some trouble, but he drives ahead relentlessly to get the first down. That was some incredible effort. Drive continues at the 40, and Rosen is brought down. Nobody blocked Jalen Ferguson. That's the magic of the double-A gap look. You get everybody thinking about who could all be blitzing. It's a standard four-man rush, and nobody accounted for Jalen Ferguson. Third and 16, now they get a hit on Rosen. Downfield with it and picked off. Tavon Young, his second. Rosen just took the shot on third and long, trying to make something happen, but forcing it to Samuel does not seem like the best idea today. 21-17, the Ravens still lead as they get the screen set up. Dalvin Cook, what a move inside. He's got the first down. Cook was such a great addition for this Baltimore offense. They have it up towards midfield. Inside, Dalvin Cook getting to the 48 of Denver, starting to get things going. On third and seven, here's Jackson wanting to take off and he's got the first, nobody in the middle of the field to stop him. First down. With the third quarter winding down, Baltimore with the run to Cook and Josie Jewell makes the play. That's more like it. And that should take us to the fourth quarter. Third and 14, and they spread out the defense. Jackson scans the field. Here he goes again. He makes a move and gets past two Bronco defenders. They were ready for him to take off, but that's not enough. You got to make the play. Vaughn Miller juked out by Jackson, and the Ravens continue driving. Toss to Cook, and now Miller trying to make up for it. Big loss for Dalvin Cook. Baltimore getting behind the sticks quite often today. Second and long. Here goes Jackson again. He'll make another move. Jukes out Baxter. He's up to the nine. Lamar Jackson, 94 yards rushing. And it's third and four. Jackson taking off again. This time wrapped up Christian Baxter. Finally, they're able to keep Lamar Jackson from converting. The Ravens add three. It's now a touchdown game in the fourth quarter. And this offense has to put together a strong drive. At their own 29, here's third down for Rosen. Across the middle, it's Cortland Sutton. Nice day for him. Up to the 47. At midfield, it's third and seven. Blitz is sent. Here's Rosen on target. It's Cortland Sutton. Catch number eight. And he's been there in key situations for Josh Rosen. The drive continues at the 31 of Baltimore. Lindsey had to cut right, and it's all he can do to get three out of it. Hamilton alone to the right side. Rosen quickly. Noah Fant, good tackle in the open field by Williams. As the clock runs down near five minutes, third and four, it's Hamilton on the reception. First down Broncos, Josh Rosen over 300 yards passing. They'll run it, Freeman to the outside, fighting through contact as he makes it up to the five. Receivers beginning to rotate for Denver, Kari Bigby in the game. Good pocket for Rosen, and he finds Jake Bunt in the back of the end zone. Touchdown! A couple years ago, Jake Bunt was our best red zone playmaker. Josh Rosen now, three touchdown passes to three different players. And now McManus tying the game with the extra point at 24. What a game in week two, an exciting start to this season. Both teams trying to move to 2-0 as Dalvin Cook makes another catch. They've been trying to get him going more in this second half. 
Under three minutes to go. Dalvin Cook up the middle. Wrapped up quickly. He has not been able to break that long run. Motion now and again handing to Cook and not fooling this defense. Nice play, Justin Simmons. Can the defense get off the field now in a key spot? Third and six. Jackson to the outside. It's a first down, Mark Andrews. And that's where we'd see Miles Jack in coverage, but instead, second year Christian Baxter. Back to Cook. Running right. Run defense playing tough. Denver has used their first timeout. A third and ten run, just trying to get things closer. Good tackle made by Covington. And that's going to bring out the best in the game. Justin Tucker from 55 for a fourth quarter lead. Right down the middle and through. 27-24, Baltimore. A minute 18 from going to 2-0. Big spot for Josh Rosen in his second start as a Bronco. And he's in trouble on first down, losing the football. And the Broncos keep possession, but they just lost 14 yards, and they're out of timeouts. Deion Price, the motion man. He's got this one, makes a move to the outside. He's got a big run here to the 45-yard line. That is a 29-yarder at a perfect time. That creates a new set of downs. Broncos now 57 seconds. Rosen outside, it's deflected and off the hands of Sutton. They've got to pick up maybe another 10 or so yards before they can consider field goal range. On second down, Rosen for Samuel. At midfield, thrown down by Marlon Humphrey. In hurry up mode, down to 24 seconds, it's third and four. For Rush, Rosen complete. Flag down as Cortland Sutton picked up the first. They were in range for McManus, and a holding call will knock them back 10 yards. Huge penalty on Denver. They're down to 18 seconds. They've got to use the sideline. Rosen finds Samuel short, and that gets them back to midfield, but they're still not in range for McManus, and it's fourth down. The game is on the line right here. Three receivers in the game. Rosen drifts back. He'll lob it up, and there's a flag on the field. There was tight coverage. Pass interference against Baltimore, and they'll get a shot to tie it. Brandon McManus from 50. This kick is good. We're tied at 27. And we're going to overtime in week two. What a start to this season. The Broncos trying to move the 2-0. Start overtime with the football. And now they can bring the running back into the equation. But that's been an issue for them today. They'll run it again with Lindsey. Two straight times. And this Ravens defense has been stout. Can they keep this opening drive going? Third down for Rush. Baltimore gets Rosen outside the pocket. And the coverage is good. He's got to get rid of it. He did not want to make the big mistake. He throws it away. Next score wins. And Baltimore has the football at their own 23. A strike for Lamar Jackson. Mark Andrews across the 30. They got to pick up a couple yards here. Third down, Jackson. That's a first down, Willie Sneed. They just need to get in range for Justin Tucker. And the option is called Vaughn Miller. What a heads up play to bring down Jackson for the loss. From the 31 now, they run it with Cook and he goes nowhere. And on top of that, there's another penalty on the Ravens. Those penalties have hurt them throughout the game. Everyone's going deep on this play. Here goes Jackson on second down, sliding now. He didn't try to make a move. He just gets a couple, but now it's third and 19. This defense is playing soft. Jackson hits Snead again, but that's not going to be close. And they've got to kick this back now to Denver. Just over three minutes to play in overtime. Denver has it again. Here's Rosen right on target. Noah Fant. Big pickup to the 47. 
and they'll get the tempo going. On first down, it's Lindsey. Nice play, Tony Jefferson, short gain. Big spot for Rosen in the offense. Third and seven from midfield. Rosen gets it away and overthrows Cortland Sutton. He was open. Rosen barely missed him. And Baltimore gets it back. We have less than two minutes to go in overtime, and the Ravens aren't showing much urgency. Dalvin Cook keeps getting hit in the backfield. He's barely over a yard a carry now. From the 18, Andrews. That's not going to get much. Third and long again for the Ravens. Two deep safeties for Denver. The pass is caught. Andrews broke a tackle but is stopped. And another timeout is used by Denver. It looks like they'll get one last shot. There is just under a minute to go. This could be a tie in week two. From the 25, Rosen on first down. Gets it out for Hamilton, and he'll take it to the boundary, stopping the clock at the 36-yard line. Denver still has one timeout left. Now 49 seconds. Rosen slides left. Looking downfield all the way, but throws it out of bounds. He won't take the chance with the tight coverage. Now they bring Curtis Samuel in motion. A lot of time here for Rosen. And now he'll take a shot downfield, and it's caught! Cortland Sutton! The Broncos are in the field goal range! What a catch! He gets behind rookie first round pick Damar Thomas whose long speed was his main concern coming into the league. And Cortland Sutton's able to get behind him and make the play. Now the Broncos are setting up McManus. They will run the clock all the way down. Either they're winning this game or nobody is. For the win, 38-yard try for McManus, and it's good! The Broncos are 2-0 for the first time in the series. An unforgettable start to the season with a one-point win over Kansas City. Now a thrilling three-point overtime win against the Baltimore Ravens. Josh Rosen gets it done at the very end, finding Cortland Sutton. That throw put him over. 400 yards passing in the series. I believe that is a series high. I know that we didn't get that high a year ago. That took three games. Wow. We should have lost that game. I can't believe we pulled it off. We got that pass interference to set up the first field goal at regulation. And then the Cortland Sutton grab. And what a day he had. Nine catches, 133 yards, a touchdown, and setting up the game-winning field goal. And how about this boost? Plus three release, plus one speed. How do we feel about re-signing Cortland Sutton now that we've seen his start to the year? This has been fantastic. Two great games against two great teams, and we come out of them with two victories. Now... It's not easier next week. We get the 2-0 Cleveland Browns. And they just defeated the Kansas City Chiefs this week, meaning the Chiefs now have lost seven games in a row. They're in some trouble. Baker Mayfield now has seven touchdown passes on the season. The Browns will be a great challenge. Today, I'm glad we were able to overcome some issues, but we have to play a lot better offensively. Can't turn the ball over like that. The blocked punt was obviously pretty bad luck but we were able to play some better run defense. Didn't stop Lamar Jackson that well. Overall, I'm just happy we got the win. You gotta find a way to win weird games sometimes, and I think that's a mark of a good team. It took a lot of good things going our way down the stretch. Very easily, the Ravens could have gotten that win, and the conversation would have been very different. But what a start. I can't wait for week three against Cleveland. That'll be coming your way within a few days, and I will see you all then. Thank you all for watching. Again, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. I want to see your feedback down below. What would you think of that one? Don't forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss anything in this series the way this is going. 
Please leave a like and I'll see you all next time. Have a great day.